It's Kevin from JJ Hat Center. Today we're going to do a little cap uh, mini show. We just talk about like some basic things about you know if you're doing little cap shopping. Um, I'm not talking about baseball caps. We're talking about you know like uh, flat caps, newsboy caps, uh, Peaky Blinders. Uh, I don't know what, what else you might call it. Uh, there's a million different uh, Baker Boys, cheese cutters, Apple Jacks, Big Apples, driving caps, touring caps, uh, car caps, uh, Ivy caps. There are so many different names for these things, like duck bills and dark caps. And we're talking about those things, tweed caps, the grandpa's old, you know, Irish cap, that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about that stuff today and, you know, some of the, the better brands and, uh, you know, the more authentic stuff, uh, how it's all done custom. And, um, you know, I'll show you um, the, the two basic categories that we've got. Ivy caps, newsboy caps, split right down the center. See that black line right there? you got newsboys on one side, Ivy's on the other. And when we do ordering, let's say there's a great new fabric that has a Indian pattern on it with a triangle and an eye or something, and uh, we love that new uh, fabric. We'll get that fabric in a newsboy, and we'll do it in an ivy, because those are two different customers. Um, they're both very, very popular. I'm going to say ivy caps might be a little bit more standard, safe, laid back. Newsboy caps have a little bit more going on, a little more of a kind of a, uh, I don't know, a little more fashionable, more like uh, jaunty, it's slightly um, nostalgic look to them. There's more going on there. It's not just a very simple, you know, wedge with like, you know, some blousiness, a little floppiness. There's a button, you know, snaps down. It's a little bit more going on with the newsboy cap, and it's a specific customer generally. Um, sometimes, you know, it's a face thing, wider face or lots of hair or something, doesn't want a skinny cap, you know, you've got a little skinny cap with all the hair sticking out each side, or a big fat face inside like a skinny cap doesn't work. So sometimes you pick Newsboy because they're fuller and it just looks better with the face, but most of the time the person will try one, will try the other, and hate one, love the other. Um, the Ivy cap is more sort of standard, modern laid back, it's somewhere like a, like a dressed up version of a baseball cap. Like if you like to wear ball caps and you're a little older now and a little bit more sophisticated or dressing better or hanging out with you know a more sophisticated crowd or the office, this and that. Let's say you're a professional guy and you work backstage at shows, you're doing lighting or um, whatever, sound, or you're, you're a professional guy in the music industry but you have to wear black. Um, but you're tired of wearing ball caps, you want to wear something a little cooler, a little more, you know, whatever. So, you know, an ivy cap is like that. It's simple, it's laid back, it's got a cool, modern, kind of skinny, simple look. And it's not like you stare at it like it's the first thing you see. Where a newsboy cap has got a little, you know, you bend it, you get it right, there's a little bit of bagginess there. It's for a person who generally wants a newsboy cap. Usually, you know, they'll say, yeah, I've been looking at those Peaky Blinders things, or, uh, you know, that cap that What's-His-Name wears? Uh, John Lennon used to wear it uh, when he was, you know, uh, in this uh, picture of him by the Statue of Liberty. It's John Lennon. Uh, or Donny Hathaway wore this cap with a button on it. Or um, Bill Cosby used to wear that hat. Um, you know, like a baggy hat with a button. Uh, who remembers Babe Ruth? Remember the baseball player Babe Ruth? Um, or that uh, rock and roll band uh, ACDC? Uh, the singer of ACDC wears a, you know, uh, a newsboy cap. It's a, um, it's kind of like, you know, you flop it over to the side a little. A newsboy is kind of more like, um, okay, newsboy, you got the button, first of all. See the button? You have these pie sections. You don't have any of that with the ivy cap, flat cap. We're going to call it an ivy cap, so I don't have to keep saying driving cap, ivy cap, flat cap. And then, you know, I'm going to call this a newsboy. We say newsboy and ivy cap. So those are your two sort of industry terms. These are also known as eight-quarter caps. 
8 slash 4. It's a quicker way of writing Newsboy. Let's say you're taking an order, or you're doing inventory, you don't want to write Newsboy black, small. Newsboy tweed, parent bone, large. You know, you want to write 8 4, 8 slash 4. Eight. So it doesn't make sense. I know it's an 8 piece cap. 8 quarters equals 2 caps. 4 quarters is 1. 8 quarters is 2. So it makes no sense, but it's an 8 piece cap most of the time. Sometimes there's six pieces, but almost always they're eight. It's standard. So uh, in the industry, we call them, yeah, IVs and eight quarters. IVY is a short thing to write when you're doing, you know, orders and inventory and you're writing up, you know, stuff. And eight quarter, it's short. So you could say IVs and eight quarters, but I'm going to say IVs and newsboys just for the sake of this. Um. Now, in newsboys is also another category. There's, um, with a newsboy, there's generally a snap here, okay? The front is baggy, obviously, it snaps down, okay? Now, there are some newsboy wearers who like to unsnap this, pull it back, okay? Mine doesn't have a snap, okay? But there's a lot of people that they just, you know, they wear it this way back and with the snap sticking in the front, and they love this style, but they want a cap that doesn't have that little snap there because they wear it open. Generally, a newsboy is worn closed and snapped down, but there are some people, a lot of girls like it this way, a lot of rockers, you know, guys like me who have a, kind of like a funky style, they'll wear it back like this. It's kind of a, whatever, an edgy way to wear it, a little, you know, art, artsy, artistic, you know, arty guy. So, uh, you know, it's like a Beatles cap or something. I remember, I think, A Hard Day's Night, didn't? No, no, that was more of a like a Greek fisherman's cap. I remember Ringo wearing something like that. But anyway, okay. For the people who like to wear their newsboys unsnapped, they make this cap, which is called a Spitfire. A Spitfire is basically a variation of a newsboy with no snap. Okay, a Spitfire, Spitfire is also known as a Baker Boy sometimes. Otherwise, Baker Boy is also a term just for a regular eight-piece cap like this, a newsboy. But sometimes when there's no snap here, and it's just false free like this, you have the ability to blouse it forward like a regular newsboy, and no one knows the difference. Or you can blouse it all the way to the side without any snap showing, or all the way back. So it's a three-way cap. You could go back, forward, or to the side. Okay. The way you blouse it and there's no snap here. The other thing is a Spitfire has this little band underneath too. That's another change. And a lot of times Spitfires don't even have these lines. They're just plain here. They'll have a button, no lines, but they can go either way. You know. Generally a newsboy is a way bigger seller. Like I said, the Spitfires sell to a certain customer. Guys who like to wear it back, or a lot of ladies do that. People who have, you know, lots of hair, they want a big crown to, they, you know, mm -hmm. do something like this, the big crown thing. But, um, yeah. So your newsboy is a baggy cap. Okay, a newsboy or a Spitfire. It has its overhang on the side. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's its trademark. It's got the pie pieces, eight pieces, a button. It snaps down in the front always, and the overhang on the sides. So a lot of people like to bend it, put it over one eye like this, you know, kind of get like that cool jaunty look, you know, rakish or whatever. And, um, you know, it's come to be kind of like a cool rock and roll look or, you know, like a truck driver look or a taxi driver look, you know. It's a, I don't know, got a little attitude or something. Um, but not everybody likes the newsboy. It's, like I said, it's got a little more going on. You've got width. A lot of people who have skinnier faces, short hair, the width is like the first thing they see. And the first thing they want to do is get rid of all the stuff on the side. That's the person who will either want a narrower newsboy, if they like this look, they want a skinny newsboy, which are more rare, but they're out there. We sell tons of them. Um, or an ivy cap. The ivy cap is this. It's a flat cap shaped like a wedge. You remember the old Kangol caps? Remember the old Kangols? They had the kangaroo here. People wore them backwards a lot. Michael Jordan and stuff, or uh, Samuel Jackson wore them. You know, it was like a, what was that? A 90s thing or something? 80s to 
um, yeah, those came out like, you know, late 70s, the Kangals and um, the Furgoras and, the, you know, the, the ones that like LL Cool J was wearing and stuff. I remember we were selling them in my, my father's store in New Queens at the time. And, uh, you know, like Pumas just came out, Adidas just came out, and, uh, and those in Kangals, you know, so you had to sell them because people were asking for them like crazy. It was like a, a hip-hop trend it was just starting. And um, Kangol caps were one of the very first trendy sort of ivy cap. And they were a little different. They didn't really have the same seams and, you know, they weren't made the same way. It was kind of a rounded version. And it's not exactly an ivy cap, but it's, it's almost. Now, there's two different ways an ivy cap can be snapped down. It can be sewn. See how this is so neat like this? It's sewn down, so it looks very neat and clean. The other way is they just put a snap in the middle. When there's a snap in the middle, then it's kind of like it's only attached there. And there's some little bit of bagginess happening up here, like these little wings. What you have to do is actually shape the hat. Um, these days, most of them are not coming snapped. Only newsboys come snapped, because people like that shaping of a newsboy cap. Where most people these days want to keep an ivy cap simple, they sew it down. What it does, first of all, is it makes this all flush. Where the other way, when it's snapped down, it looks more like, I don't know, it's just not flush. You know, it's only attached in one spot and it's pulling back and stuff. But that's part of the look of a snap down, you know, the pulling and everything. So, yeah, expect to find the snap down on a newsboy cap. Okay, if you want to do this with your newsboy, expect there to be a snap there unless it's a spitfire or a jj hat center we call the spitfire a baker boy but ours is made in ireland by jonathan richards which is like some of the best caps on the planet uh, quality wise and their stuff runs really big so if you're like a medium generally you got to do a small with jonathan richards and if you're a large you know you go down to a medium because their stuff just runs huge uh, Almost everything Irish runs like that. So yeah, newsboys are going to be wider. They're going to have the pie sections, a button, and the snap down. Ivy caps are going to be way skinnier. Skinnier. They're not going out on the sides. The other one was falling over the sides of my head. See, this doesn't really suit me. It's just, you know, if I tied my hair back and did that kind of thing, it would look okay. Um, but yeah. Guys with lots of hair, girls with lots of hair. Girls can get away with it, maybe. But um, I think this is uh, more suited for somebody with a, a narrowish face or an average face, shorter hair, and um, somebody who's got you know tons of hair like me or a big face might do better with either a a wider ivy if they prefer the plainness and simple style of this you just go with a wider ivy i suggest our jj ivy or even better than that the irish stuff um, anything from ireland we have uh, two or three the county ivy the um man, it's been a while um the carry cap from hannah hats which is really nice that's a big wide one the dark cap is the widest it's almost like a vintage baggy ivy it's really baggy like a newsboy but with this construction so it flops over that's like, almost like a vintage purist hat it's a little fun but i think it's cool it's like you know suspenders and like a really baggy ivy you've seen them like a kind of an 1800s look um so bear that in mind too in the skinnier style they make them extra skinny this is about average this is a classic ivy this is the county ivy they make them way skinnier like our ivy slim stuff um, the orchard slim ivy um, is really really skinny um, a lot of the alfonso stuff the stetson stuff we have a lot of super skinny if it says slim those are slim slim styles they're modern um, you could also get baggy ivies, like I said, the dark cap, the Irish stuff, um, the Tully, the Kerry cap, the County Ivy, um, there's the JJ Ivies, a bunch of them. But um, same thing goes with newsboys. You could get a super oversized newsboy, which is like a big apple, 
which is not even on our website. You have to call for that. That's the one that's like so huge, you know, like most people can't even wear it. It looks kind of clownish on them because it's, you know, literally like out to there. You have to, you know, bend them a lot and stuff to kind of narrow them up and wear them like at a cool angle. And you got to be kind of a biggish guy or into dressing really wild, like, you know, like a rocker or somebody who's into the vintage thing who wants the really exaggerated rakish thing. The next step below that would be the Irish stuff, like um, the Tully, again. Um, Tully is one of our biggest newsboys. And the, um, the Hannah Hat stuff, the Gatsby, is really wide. We have another one called the Grant, which is super wide. The JJ Newsboy is an inexpensive American-made one for $45 which is kind of wide too, with a snap down and everything. Um, then you get into the more average stuff, like the Stetsons and the um, Alfonso's. They tend to be more modern and a little bit tapered, kind of like, you know, they've got a little bit of overhang. Sort of like my, um, like this. Just a little bit. But they're, they're tapered and modern and stuff. This is kind of like what a lot of our newsboys look like. Or they're, yeah, even skinnier than this. A little bit skinnier. The stats and stuff. And then there are things that are really skinny. That are almost like a skull cap. They have like nothing on the sides. But they're still newsboys. We have those too. Um, the Alfonso, they make the smallest ones. The Leeds is tiny. Um, I'm going to say the Orchard newsboy is. Uh, that's the one that um, Bruce Willis likes that. He buys them. We usually have them on the top shelf for a case. It's like, let me see that stack, you know. So we'll take, you know, a whole bunch, sometimes one or two, sometimes, you know, three or four, or more. But um, he likes his newsboys, and he doesn't like them super wide. He likes it kind of, you know, laid back. And the dude looks really cool in them, and he knows how to break it down and everything. And that's another thing. With a newsboy, you know, breaking it down is part of it. You gotta know how to break a hat down, you know, how to wear it, the angle, the way you twist it up, you know. And that gives it a little bit of uh, authenticity or whatever. I'm not saying I know how to do it, but um, everybody's got their way that looks right to them or feels right or something, you know. And um, an ivy cap is going to be a little simpler. It's a bit, a little bit less. It's almost like a ball cap, you know. You could bend it or you could not bend it, essentially, you know. But yeah, newsboy, there's a little bit more happening here. Yeah, you know, you could do a couple of things with it. So, but um, as you get wider, it starts to get more dramatic. Mm -hmm. I had a guitar around my neck here. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Classes 
seven, class of seven, four going. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. I just can't do it. This song is horrible. The wheels are like in my direction. Caught it in my hands today. This was a, re a request a friend of mine. Take you on a trip beside the ocean. Got the top of Chesapeake Bay. No, I'm not gonna play that song. But I'll just play. See the more verses here. You see the sun come up on Sunday morning And watch it, and watch it fade the moon away I guess you know I'm giving you a warning Cause me and moon are itching to play I take you on a trip beside the ocean Drop the top of chase we play And nothing like the sky the dose of potion The moon will send you on the way generally come in small, medium, large, extra large, um, 55, 57, 59, 61, double X is like a 63. Um, some of the caps are going to be labeled like a 58 for a medium, some of them will be labeled a 57 for a medium. Um, it's a weird thing. It's more like they, they come small, medium, large, extra large. Some companies translate their medium into being a 57, others 58. It's kind of like, I think it's 57.5 or something like that. It's not like some companies actually make them 57, some 58. They're all mediums. But what's more important is how the hat runs. So it's a medium from Hannah Hats or something from Jonathan Richards from Ireland. We know they run huge. That medium is going to feel more like a 59, um, not a 57 or a 58. If it's um, 
this particular model, these run true to size. This doesn't run that big. Um, so this, let's say it's a 57. A true medium is a 57. Um, if you're 58, yeah, you're between a medium and a large. What do you do? Um, well, that's a tough one. Um, generally, caps stretch super, super easy. It's the opposite of hats. Where you know I hate stretching hats. Um, I'm kind of like you know good at it because I've gotten so many you know for so long, and you know stretches just don't really work. So you know I found that with stretching a leather sweat banded hat like this, um, you know with the, the reed in here and you know all the tension. Generally, when you stretch it, it just comes back, and the stretch doesn't work. It contracts again, you know. And everybody who has hat jacks at home knows about that. They stretch it or leave it overnight, they overstretch it, they leave it for a week, whatever, they leave it in all the time. As soon as you take it out, it shrinks back. Um, the only way to really stretch a hat hat is to over, over stretch it like crazy. So in other words, if you want to go from here to here, you actually stretch it to here or here. And then by the time it shrinks back, it shrinks back, but yeah, you gain a tiny bit, just this little bit. But you get so much distortion, you know, the brim. You actually lose brim, length on the brim when you stretch, and you lose height on the crown because that felt is being redistributed to the size, to the side there. Um, so yes, yeah, stretching really sucks with a hat. It's it's nearly impossible. I say don't do it unless you have a hat that you just can't wear at home, you can't return, you can't exchange it. Um, yeah, then do it, you know, it's either don't wear it or, you know, stretch it, but, you know, it's, it's, it sucks, it's, it's really hard to do, and you barely get any results, and the payoff is like all these side effects with like, you know, barely any kind of a stretch, so yeah, you gotta really brutalize a hat to actually get it to stretch, and, and that's more than theory, it's like, you know, two and a half decades of experience mm -hmm. doing it every single day and my colleagues give me the stretches because they know I'm like the guy who's like you know willing to go a little extra further and you know really stretch it like crazy and stuff and then t after that stretch you have to completely rebuild the hat the whole hat just looks like this horrible cone and you just have to undo the crown make it round again crease it again get all the wrinkles out buff it out then you have to do something with the um the, the brim is all wavy and stuff, basically, you know, from being stretched. It comes off the stretcher like, you know, like that or something, or, you know, whatever, something like that, or more extreme than that even. So then you have to actually fix all that. And, you know, you're left with, like, a broken sweatband that you have to patch and put some leather in there to patch it, make it look right, rebuild the entire hat that's just, you know, it's a pain and it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But... What I'm getting at, I know this is one of my famous tangents, what I'm getting at is stretching a cap is the opposite, I've found. It's just a piece of cloth. Once you stretch it, it's stretched. It doesn't contract. Um, I found that most hats, when they come off the rack, when they come right out of the box, they have a good knee stretch in them. There's always one, at least one good knee stretch, and you could get it, like, let's say, you're in between sizes, you're in between like 58 and 59. You can take that cap, sometimes I'll just kind of go under the counter and I'll be like, try it now, or try this one. And they'll be like, it's the same one though. I'll be like, just try this one. And then they're like, this one feels perfect. And I'm like, yeah, it's stretched over my knee, sorry. It doesn't look that good or professional. What I do is I hold it at the peak and over here. So basically what's happening is I'm not going to let the peak rip away from there. I don't, when I'm doing this, I don't want this to, so I'm going to hold it here and there on both sides. And we want the stretch to happen back here. So I'll hold it at both sides, I'll pull it over my knee and I'll increase pressure until I hear a pop and it goes pop. And then that's it, you can't do anymore. So you get that one pop and then after that, you know, you got to use like a hat stretcher and you, know, you don't get that much more room. But it. Yeah, I definitely did this one before. I'm sure I did it on camera. But you do it and you'll hear first time you might feel a little scared, but it's kind of like you're stretching the, the, the stitches in the back there a little bit. 
um, a good thing to do is to heat this up with some steam first from the outside so that this, the steam becomes more elastic and less brittle. You heat it up with steam, put it over your knee and just, you can do it. Um, doing it to a leather hat might be a little harder, but yeah, can't. This one's already probably been stretched. But uh, yeah, you got to balance on one leg, kind of like Jethro Tull. Remember, you used to play the flute like that, and then and then you have to just kind of like pull it over your knee. Yeah, that's what I do. Um, and I've been doing it for years. Sometimes I'll be like, yeah, give me a second, I'll get you another one. And I go to the back room, bring it back, and just try this one. And I'm like, oh, that one's great, you know. Stretched it. Oh, really? Is it going to hold? Yes. So yeah, stretching caps, stretching cloth, it's like stretching your t-shirt. Once you do it, you know, you, you can't undo it, but uh, you can do it. Uh, I'm not saying go and stretch everything over your knee, but you can, if you're careful, you can get one good stretch over your knee and that's it. Um, it's definitely better if you have a hat jack, you know, heat it up from the outside, you heat the seam up always. I do it to hats too, but I do it on the outside of the hat. You don't want to ever heat up a leather sweatband from the inside, you'll burn it. Don't ever, ever steam a hat in there. Steam it on the outside. What you do is you steam here, and you let the seam get hot through there, and you give it your stretch. Um, Worst thing that could possibly happen if you have bad technique or something is that this will undo from there. Yeah, you could sew it back, but, um, yeah, I did that once years ago, years and years ago, like, you know, in 96 or 94 or something when I first started. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but it was a pretty thin, cheap hat, you know, it wasn't one of these really good, like, imported hats and stuff, but, uh, yeah. Cap sizes are gonna be between kind of like that. You're not always gonna see 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61 like that. You're gonna usually see small, medium, large, extra. So it is a tough one. Um, you know, yes, you can put a sweat pad, you know, one of those $5 sweat wicks that you can get them on Amazon. It's called Cap Bender. You could put that in the back of your cap. You can't put it in the front against your head because that's a rounded surface, you know? Generally, actually this cap has a nice flat surface in the front. Usually here is rounded. Yeah, like this. There's a pad and then a piece of foam. So you can put the, the pad there. That will tighten the hat, but you're better off trying to give it a little, little stretch. Excuse me. <coughs> Um, that's all I can say about that. Um, they're pretty easy to stretch, so if you're concerned about being a 58 or, you know, ask, ask them how it runs. If something runs really big, yeah, go with the smaller one, you'll be fine, you know. Certain things run really big, run really small, true to size, and that's more important to listen to. And of course, it's always best to go to the shop and try these things on, you know. That's always the best. All right, ivy caps, newsboy caps, we talked about them both. Let's see what else we can do here. Let's turn off all this stuff, right? Turn this off, turn this off here. Is that it? <laughs> Thank you.
Thank mm -hmm. you.